Hello and welcome. This is Roofmonger. And in this video here, I want to talk about a character that could be potentially a really cool character for a DLC character for Dragon Ball Fighters. So season three upcoming, we have a lot of new characters. And will this character be in that season three lineup? Well, probably not. But still, I want to talk about Turles as a character in Dragon Ball Fighters. So in Dragon Ball Fighters, one of the biggest complaints is too many Gokus, right? And the answer I have to that is just maybe we just haven't had the right Goku yet. Uh, do we need Ultra Instinct Goku? No, we need the original Goku, Turles. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I legitimately think Turles could be a really fun character in this game. And hey, let me explain my case to you. So first and foremost, you know, hey, does he have enough to make a moveset out of? And hey, in my opinion, absolutely. Having just recently rewatched Tree of Might, I think he's got tons of stuff going for him. Uh, you know, tons of basic hits and all that kind of stuff, sure. Um, he's a really big fan of the right hook. I noticed while rewatching the movie, really big fan of the right hook. But yeah, he has enough for basic strikes and all that kind of stuff. And as for techniques, absolutely. Um, he has his, I don't even know what the proper term is. I, I could check the wiki, but I'm not gonna. But uh, his squarey, circly, projectile, fireball thing, right? Um, that is a very unique looking move. There's not a lot of key blasts, like, look, anything other than just, you know, basic key blasts or basic beams, right? In the history of Dragon Ball. And here's this thing that, like, is, like, changing geometry and all that kind of crazy stuff. So, at the very least, that'd be a serviceable special move or even, like, a level one super, something like that. Because it looks friggin' cool. And half the attraction of fighting games is stuff that looks cool, in my opinion. Another thing Turles could have is counters, or at least defensive measures. So there are not too many characters that have anything more defensive style in Dragon Ball Fighters currently, and I think Turles absolutely could be one. Uh, during the movie, one of uh, the big things that happens is Piccolo goes for the special beam cannon, and he just tanks it. Like, he just puts his palm out and is like, nah, not happening. You're not hitting me with this move that everyone has to dodge or die, because I can legit just stop it, because that is... The power of Turles, I suppose. So perhaps you can make that a projectile counter or just a purely defensive thing like a parry, besides just being a deflect. So it'd be its own thing. But yeah, he can just stop stuff dead. And I think that's very interesting. And once again, gameplay mechanic wise, that can translate very well over to a fighting game. As for other special moves, it got all sorts of cool energy stuff. Uh, he has something that can certainly constitute a basic beam. Uh, he has his like kind of like missile attack here, like just a bunch of rapid fire key blasts looks really cool. And he has the move he uses to break Goku's spirit bomb in the movie. And once again, I don't know the names because I didn't check the wiki, but uh, it's very striking looking. And this is something that could be a level three or something. It's just black and white, no other colors, no yellow, no blue, no nothing like you traditionally. Uh, associate with energy style moves in Dragon Ball. It is just pure black and pure white and just once again very striking looking and I think you could definitely flesh that out into a much bigger move in a fighting game. Now let's talk about the showstopper because this is the main thing and the main thing I think uh, can make Turles a very interesting character and it's got to be the Tree of Might itself, right? So uh, if you're not aware, he plants the Tree of Might, he eats the fruit and he gets super jacked, super fast, super strong and there is so many things you can do with just that simple concept to make a very fun fighting game character. So not the least of which is, let's say at the most basic possible level. Let's say it's a level one or hey, maybe a level three, I don't know, but some sort of super based install. He just, you burn the bar, he takes a nice little bite out of the fruit and then yo, he becomes turbo jacked and better, faster, stronger for hopefully the rest of the match or, uh, you know, some sort of duration, right? That's one thing in and of itself. And Dragon Ball Fighters doesn't have many installs, really, you know? Like, uh, considering the franchise that it is, you'd think there'd be a lot more, but there isn't. So that's one thing. But another thing I find very interesting you can do is just you could plant the Tree of Might. So similar to, say, how Nappa plants Cybermen in the middle of the match, right? You can plant it. doesn't grow right away, but it grows. So it gives you incentive to want to stay on a certain portion of the screen, right? And then after XYZ times elapsed, it grows, has the fruit, and you can grab it, eat it, get your buff, right? And potentially it becomes like a chase mechanic because maybe the enemy can grab it and eat it as well. So it makes certain points of the screen all of a sudden very much more valuable, much more contestable because you're planting your fruit, 
and you want to eat it and then maybe you can have cool corner fruit combos like uh, Napa, you start your combo, call assist, plant your tree of might, uh, hit, 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 eat fruit in the middle of combo, combo, all that kind of fun stuff. I think that's really cool. Another interesting concept where you can go with it is on top of having buffs and planting all that, you can make a version of the tree where you plant and it's a defensive measure, a trap. Many points of the Tree of Might movie, the actual Tree of Might itself is wrecking stuff. It's blowing stuff over. So it could be similar to, say, Testament in Guilty Gear. Uh, you plant it, and if you walk over it, the Tree of Might itself, uh, one of its roots comes in and smacks you in the face. Something like that, right? So there's more than just the fruit. You can make the actual Tree of Might itself uh, an interactable object on the stage you hit the enemy with. So there's just so many potential options you have with it and i think just that alone let alone some of the other moves we already showed you right just the tree of might stuff alone can make for a fantastically interesting character so on top of everything we talked about on top of the tree of might and the fruit of the tree of might which once again i think there's almost infinite possibilities of how you can make that such a fun and amazing concept for a fighting game character let's talk about the selfish one for me here because as the roster has gone on and as we've gotten certain characters, Turles is effectively the last chance we have to have a great ape in Dragon Ball Fighters. Now, I know he didn't turn into a great ape in the movie, but he definitely did have the setup forward here because he had the Moonblast uh, tech or whatever it was where he can create a fake moon just like uh, Vegeta did in the original Dragon Ball Z series. So he can do that kind of stuff. He uses it to turn Gohan into a great ape in the movie, right? And in a lot of the supplemental material and games and all that, you know, like uh, Xenoverse, Budokai, all that kind of stuff, there are visions of Turles being a great ape. Me, personally, I have been dying for some sort of great ape in Dragon Ball Fighter since day one. Um, it's still one of my greatest disappointments in the franchise when Base Vegeta was announced and there was no great ape stuff with him. So, other than the fact that maybe they put, like, kid like baby gohan as a character in the game i don't know anyone else you can still do a great ape with other than turles so i really would like that quite a bit to be honest with you but yeah uh for turles in my opinion once again he would just make a great character for the game i know there's not a lot of turles super fans out there uh, I know a lot of people have a lot of things they want to see for Season 3. Like, you know, a lot of people want to see, like, Omega Shenron. Uh, they want to see Ultra Instinct Goku. I want to see Bulma in the mech myself, right? But just purely gameplay-wise, I think Turles would make a fantastic character from very visually striking moves, uh, potentially awesome and unique mechanics you can put in the game form, and maybe a great ape, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Turles could be really cool in this game. Will it happen? Uh, probably not, but hey... We're just stalking here, you know, we're just spitballing here. That's the point of this video, I guess. Let me put this to you now. What characters do you think would be interesting characters? I'm not necessarily saying your favorite characters, right? Because we all got our favorites, sure. But what characters do you think would make a cool fighting game character in this game? For me, hey, like I said, this is what this video is. Turles, that's my, that's my vote anyways. Uh, uh, yeah, but what do you think about it? Because I think there's a lot of things where you can make a fun character. And fun characters matter the most in the end, right? That's what this is all about. Anyways, I guess I'm rambling at this point. So that is the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video found you well. Go and play some Dragon Ball.